Jonathan Milam here with a trumpet review. I've got a really nice vintage instrument here. This is a King Silver Tone from about 1950. I think the H.N. White Company was producing the horn they called King then before they sold out to uh, UMI. At any rate, um, they put out a really nice horn. Uh, I've read that one of the leading trumpet manufacturers in the United States was shown a King Liberty one time an old horn and he looked at it and said that's the best trumpet that was made in the 19th century. I've had a lot of fine horns, had a lot of nice comms, really admire their craftsmanship and certainly they were putting out a very fine instrument as was King. This particular horn of course it is called the Silver Tone and the King Silver Tones had a 100% sterling silver bow. Now the sterling silver is definitely heavier. The last couple of trumpets that I've demoed, I think one was a uh, Bousian Hawks made by Canstall. It was a French Besson, was about 36 ounces, if I recall correctly. I've got a Yamaha 6335 HG2, 36 ounces within just a fraction of weight. This horn, although it has a smaller bell, weighs in at a little over 37 ounces, and you can feel the difference. The solid sterling silver is said to give more overtones. One of my children was sick from school earlier this week, and uh, I had got the horn in and just played for a moment. And uh, actually, my son, Brendan, said, now that's got such a full tone, and he wasn't feeling really good. He was well across a large room. And I was playing with a large uh, mouthpiece on it, wasn't trying to blow him out. But I liked his comment, a full tone. And they say that the sterling silver bell does give you more overtones. I've got a Doberman, which is upstairs. You can hear him every now and then when I play. Whenever I pick up this horn, the Doberman wants to sing with me. Doesn't matter what part of the house I'm in or what part of the house he's in. I do believe there must be um, uh, a more profuse overtones that come from the sterling silver bell. It's my feeling. Uh, slightly smaller bell size, as I mentioned earlier. A lot of the modern horns are 4.75 inches, 5 inches, sometimes a little larger than that. This is just a little smaller than 4.5. Of course, um, King also put this metal band on the end of their bells. Don't know how they did that, would really like to know. But uh, it's a tight band, but it is a separate piece. With this horn as well, you get a really unique tuning feature. You can see there's a gap here between the tuning slide and the uh, lead pipe of the horn, and then there's another gap here. And what you get actually is um, this bottom part will pull out separate from this middle part. You can remove the middle part and then play half a tone higher. So one half tone higher if you remove this middle part. And of course, then you can slide it all the way in and. Uh, it just works really nicely. There's also little marks on the third slide, second slide I think stays the same, but a little mark on the first slide that indicate where you'd want to tune it when you remove that half step of tubing. Very interesting. Nice horn. The bore on this is what they call a medium bore. Many horns today are uh, around 0 .460, 460 thousandths of an inch. This is a little smaller, 448. So just under 450 thousandths of an inch. Um, 11 or 12 thousandths of an inch smaller than the medium large bore. They did call this a medium bore. Uh, most of the horn is brass. Of course, you do have the sterling silver bell. And uh, I've got a deep V tone on it. We'll see how it sounds. Just doodle around with the chromatic a little bit. full tone even though it's a medium or very um, very pleasing low tone. C scale and the F scale
just a, a few lines of a little, uh, little song. Just try and show you the great tone of the horn. trumpet, King Silvertone. All right, we'll put in a uh, little tighter back bore and a uh, little shallower cup and try and raise that song up an octave, see how it sounds. trumpet. Now, um, my lips are a little tired. I've done some demos already today, but I'm going to try and take this up a little higher. It's one of the few trumpets that I've been able to fairly consistently muscle up towards a double high C. And uh, it's earlier in the day than I like to play it, but we get sunlight and I like that. And uh, my lips are a little tired, so I probably won't be able to go that high. But um, just one of the easiest horns to control that I can remember um, playing. Yeah, you get a G above high C. Nice trumpet, the King Silver Tone. Maybe the tone is going. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.